Hello everybody, welcome to Jeff's Baking Blog. Today I'm going to be making something called Barra Brith, which is a, a Welsh tea loaf. It's a very famous uh, cake loaf in, in Wales and it has a few ingredients and it's quite simple to make. So for this recipe I have 450 grams of mixed fruit and with that I have 300 grams of soft brown sugar. You can use light or dark, whichever is your preference, or a mixture of both. And in fact I have used a mixture of both, uh, simply so that I could use up a couple of packets that I had sitting around. One lightly beaten egg and 450 grams of flour. Now with this uh, mixed fruit and sugar you need 300 millilitres of hot or warm black tea. So you make some tea, let it steep for a while till it gets quite strong, and then you pour it into the mixture, mix it up, and then you soak that overnight. So it takes a while to do the recipe, but actually it's very simple. You just do that bit, soak it overnight, and then two more ingredients, and everything's ready. So I have a... Um, a two pound loaf tin here or a 900 gram loaf tin and I've greased it and I've lined it with parchment paper. I'm also uh, preheating the oven to 170 degrees Celsius that's 150, fan, 150 Celsius with a fan or 325 Fahrenheit. So what we want to do is mix the flour and this is self, did I, if I said plain flour, I meant self-raising flour. Um, you want to mix that with this tea and sugar and mixed fruit liquid, uh, mixture. And the egg goes in as well. Then we'll put the rest of the flour on top of it and we're simply going to mix that to get it all combined into a batter. As you can see it's going to be nice and sticky and the fruit that's been steeping in the tea overnight has swollen up so it's going to be very juicy So with that mixed, we're simply going to put it into the loaf tin. Now my loaf tin, this particular one, is wider than many of the two pound ones. Some of them are, are narrower and taller. So although the cake will be the same volume, oops, it may not be as tall as you might get if you have a narrower tin 
than I do. So with the mixture in, we need to push it right to the corners. And there's no batter in this. So the only liquid is the 300 milliliters of tea and the medium egg. And with that, it's going to go into the oven and it's going to bake for one and a half hours. So I'll repeat the uh, temperatures. It's 170 Celsius, 150 Celsius with a fan or 325 Fahrenheit. I'll put it in the oven, then I'll be back with you uh, after I've taken it out. So our Barra Brith our Welsh tea loaf has baked. I, I should say I'm, I'm omitted to tell you one ingredient um, at the beginning and that was two teaspoons of mixed spice. Um, you can either mix that in with the flour or you can mix it in with the, the tea when you're infusing the sugar and the uh, mixed dried fruit. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this and see what it looks like inside. And there we are, beautiful. It smells, mm, smells absolutely wonderful. It's nice and uh, full of fruit and the, you get the aroma of the, the mixed spice as well. I'm not going to eat it just yet because my dinner is on its way, but uh, I will be back with you with another video very short, very soon. So in the meantime, happy baking.